Over to you, sir. Hi, Konnichiwa. Hello. From here, um, the title is Jakarta Calling, and as has been described, uh, we'll be speaking to uh, Haruka Nakagawa in uh, Indonesia. As a talent and actress, so she became very famous. So, uh, as seen from her perspective, uh, how is uh, Japan's entertainment being viewed in Indonesia and Japan's entertainment and culture uh, going forward? Uh, what should we do so that it's accepted more in Indonesia? Nikkei Entertainment was a uh, magazine for which I was uh, chief editor, and AKB48 interviews, I've done several of those, uh, and because of this connection, I've been given uh, this role today. Uh, so uh, there's uh, Haruka in uh, Jakarta. Hello. Hello, uh, I'm Haruka Nakagawa. I look forward to having this talk with you. What's the temperature there? I'm in uh, Jakarta. It's uh, 32 or 33 degrees centigrade. It's very warm. It's summer in Indonesia, or is it autumn? Or is it spring? Well, is it summer all the time, all year round? Uh, there's a dry season and the rainy season, and we've started uh, the rainy season now, and so we have many rainy days. If you look at how you dress, uh, it doesn't really look like uh, midsummer. In Indonesia, outside it's uh, warm, but inside uh, it's uh, quite cool because it's air conditioned. And so I don't uh, dress. Uh, in a way that's typically summer. Uh, are people wearing masks? Yes, uh, they are. Unless you wear masks, uh, you, you can't go outside. Oh, I understand. So uh, let me uh, briefly introduce uh, Ms. Nagarawa. She was born in 1992. In 2006, with uh, Mayu uh, Watanabe and with uh, Ms. Akashiwangi, she joined AKB as the third generation. In 2012, in uh, December, JKT48, she uh, moved to uh, JKT48. She uh, went to Jakarta. And in 2013, uh, the Indonesian version of uh, Fortune Cookie was one for which she played a central role. In uh, 2016, she left JKT48. In 2016 and 2017, she was ranked as the most influential woman on Twitter. She ranked seventh as the most influential woman on Twitter. Is that correct? Yes. So you must be the most famous Japanese in Indonesia. Yes, uh, uh, it makes me happy when you say that. So, how is it? So all of a sudden, a 20-year-old goes to Jakarta. Uh, from a mid middle-aged man, uh, I can uh, imagine uh, some difficulty. But was it not very difficult? Yes, uh, uh, there was more fun than struggles, uh, and I, but I do believe I was able to make that decision because I was 20. Uh, there was a lot of fun and excitement, and there was more of that, so there was not much uh, anxiety. Uh, so uh, I'd like to learn from you in how optimistic you are uh, the, from uh, the business uh, or economic uh, sector in Japan. Indonesia is a promising market, it's a big market, and uh, the population is 270 million, and it's the fourth in the world, and about 100 million are under 20. Uh, it's a very young country, and it's a growing country from uh, uh, 1910. Every year, 5% uh, is the growth of uh, GDP, and it's the world's the largest uh, Islamic country. So uh, it's a country that Japan wants to be really close to and friendly with, and we're doing a lot of things, but with regard to entertainment, things have not been working out very well. So uh, Nakagawa-san, um, you've uh, become uh, very popular all of a sudden. So uh, could you tell us how successful you are, what you're doing? Uh, I believe you've prepared some uh, f videos and photographs. Uh, maybe uh, seeing is believing. Uh, starting with the VTR, VCR first. This is uh, in Indonesia. I don't understand Indonesian at all. Uh, what are you talking about here? It's a PR. It's an ad. Nakagawa-san's uh, eating something. Okay. Terima kasih ya sudah teman. 
makannya aku. Halo semua, aku dikirimin sikat gigi yang selalu aku pakai di Jepang, namanya Sistema. Ini produk sikat gigi nomor satu di Jepang loh. Isinya 5 sikat gigi Sistema Active Clean, satu sikat gigi biasa, jagung dan bubuk kopi. Pertama di Indonesia, kepala sikatnya 1,4 kali lebih lebar. Bulunya soft, slim, dan strong. Jagung itu mirip dengan gigi kita. Kotoran juga bisa nyangkut. Karena kepala sikat yang lebih lebar jadi lebih bersih. Segoy! Sekarang aku mau masak jagungnya ya. Jagungnya sudah matang. Kita lagi mas. Aduh, ada yang nyangkut gigi nih. Yuk coba sikat gigi dengan sistem aktif clean. Sikat giginya yang benar ya, biar bersih dan sehat. Gigi aku bersih banget. Kalian harus coba ya. Hai, konnichiwa. Hello once again. I shouldn't say hello. Thank you very much for that. Indonesia juga wakanda kata Uh, I didn't understand the Indonesian. Uh, I, it looked very good and it was things were very cute. But what was that? The first one was uh, an introduction of uh, Indonesian food. And uh, these are PR films uh, for all other countries to introduce Indonesia. Because of the uh, present situation, uh, we can't go abroad. But uh, we uh, could do these things from home. The PR and ads uh, are things that we could do from home. The second one, that's where you were screaming. It was a, f a fan meeting. We uh, did fan meetings last year. And uh, this year, I'm ambassador for Oranamin C uh, uh, vitamin C drink. And so uh, I was in a Oranamin C uh, video. You talked about uh, commercials. You do a lot of commercials, don't you? Yes, uh, commercials and uh, promotion, promotionals, promotions for different uh, companies, so that's what I do, and also uh, introductory uh, videos, rather than uh, commercials, these are uh, media, Instagrams and Twitters, uh, using this uh, for promotion, uh, these are increasing as well, you have no problems with the language, you've uh, mastered it, yes. Well, if, uh, I can't talk about very complicated things, and sometimes uh, I don't understand certain things, but basically uh, I have no problem communicating. And television, uh, variety programs, uh, uh, if, if you uh, uh, are in a lot of the comedy uh, programs and so forth, variety programs uh, on TV, I have no problems doing that. I have some uh, photographs of that. What is this? What kind of a program is this? This is a quiz show. Ah, that's what I think it is. You look like you're having fun. <laughs> I'm uh, reading out the questions. So you're um, in uh, variety programs. Uh, yes, I am. And this is a talk show. It's a talk show, yes. I'm talking with uh, different artists, and I have many opportunities uh, to do things like this. Uh, when you uh, look at that, uh, you look very classy, but from what I hear, uh, sometimes you uh, are quite reckless uh, in programs, are you? Uh, yes, it depends on what the program is. When I participate in talk shows, I talk seriously. Indonesian programs are such uh, that, that people tell you to do what you want. You're free to do what you want. So basically, um, I have much freedom uh, in uh, doing the kind of things I do. It's a similar program. Uh, is this a, a more a free kind of uh, program? Uh, I'm just absent-minded here. I'm just uh, relaxing here. Next. Well, this was the previous picture, wasn't it? What's this? This is a more recent photograph. So that's why I'm wearing a face shield. Uh, it's true for the world as well as for Indonesia that uh, the entertainment uh, situation is the same as in Japan. Or are there things that differ? 
comparing Japan and Indonesia, uh, how do you see uh, things in terms of what the difference is? Well, I think, well, a lot of people tell me that the entertainment in Indonesia is like uh, Japan in the past, entertainment of uh, Japan in the past, uh, say television. Uh, you don't have a, a proper script. You don't have to uh, do rehearsals uh, very strictly. Uh, the uh, broad uh, direction is uh, given, but then the left rest is left up to each of the uh, talents, uh, the actors and actresses. Uh, there's a live band in the studio, and uh, the sound effects uh, are done uh, using this, these live bands on the spot. So in that sense, it's a little different from uh, Japan still. So the talents and the uh, people uh, that are participating uh, uh, it really depends on their skills, doesn't it? There's a lot of dependence on the skills of the people who are actually doing it, uh, the actors and uh, talents. So yes, it's easier for us. In Japan, uh, everything is decided uh, in advance, and up to age 20, I was used to this kind of thing. And I'm able to cope with that and deal with that. But having come to uh, Indonesia, and when I was told that there was no script, I was uh, surprised and I wondered what I should say. But put it another way, uh, you can be yourself and you can do what you want. You can be, you have the freedom to do what you want. So it's enjoyable. You, need to, you say what you want to say. And so I can be myself. And uh, so uh, perhaps people can see uh, that I'm enjoying myself and uh, people can see the real me. Uh, when you were in Japan, you were very popular and you were very attractive, but having gone to Indonesia, um, perhaps uh, you've changed a little bit, you've uh, upgraded yourself. Yes, uh, I think I can say things uh, um, on my own. You very freely. So uh, Nakagasan enjoyed herself. In uh, 2020, uh, something outrageous happened. That's uh, COVID-19, and uh, the uh, infection spread. Uh, did uh, life in Jakarta change? Yes. Uh, Lockdown period was longer than for other countries, and uh, cinemas are still closed as yet. And there's uh, a lot of time that I spend at home. And we can't uh, have people over and uh, to have dinner together. So it's a bit lonely. I feel that. And uh, JKT performances, uh, that's not ongoing. At the JKT theater. It did uh, online uh, live streaming uh, until quite recently, and uh, for the fans, uh, even if uh, they could not go out because of COVID-19, uh, we wanted to uh, make them happy and make them happy, but uh, uh, we now uh, uh, allow a limited number of people to come to the theater. But uh, it's, the, the activities are not of the level we saw in the past. So looking at the mass media in Europe, for example, we know that lockdown happens uh, when it's cold. But what is it like uh, facing this lockdown in a hot place? A layman's question. So initially, uh, people said that the COVID-19 will not spread because it's hot. Indonesia up to April. Uh, had zero cases, and so we thought that it will not come to Indonesia. But then, uh, it didn't have to do with hot or cold. COVID came to Indonesia, Indonesia after all. And so we Indonesians uh, changed the way we dealt with it. it. Those who never wore masks started wearing masks, or wash hands and gargle. So, washing hands is important, and it's only normal in Japan. So, we come home, we wash hands, but Indonesians did not do it. It was not normal. So, with COVID, Indonesians uh, felt that they had to start doing these new things. Uh, and I think we're getting used to it now. 
Southeast Asia, uh, we see uh, people enjoying dining and whining out, but now you cannot do it as much. Yes, Indonesians cherish friendship. So a large extended family go out for dinner or uh, friends go out for tea. This is something we usually did, but now it's not possible. Perhaps because we are a young country, the young population, we are flexible and we are dealing with the situation flexibly. Now we see each other in groups, small groups or uh, have video chat. And I think this is taking root now. Now, moving on to the entertainment industry, the content industry in Indonesia is less than one-tenth of Japan. It was very small, but from 2018, 30% uh, growth in five years is expected. So, from your perspective, you talked about smartphone. What uh, do you think uh, people are spending time and money for in entertainment? Entertainment in Indonesia is not broad-based. Uh, there are not many bowling alleys or places to have fun. And so, we Indonesians enjoy Netflix or overseas drama and films a lot. So movies and the video streaming, before COVID, which was uh, more uh, prevalent, before COVID, people went out to movie theaters. Uh, in Indonesia, there are movie theaters in all the malls. So when you go out on a date or when you go have fun with friends, uh, we usually meet each other in movie theaters. But now the movie theaters are locked down. They're closed. Uh, it's been closed for six months now, so we cannot spend money for movie theaters. So instead, we watch the live streaming at home instead. I see, so 70% penetration of smartphone. You gather information and entertain, enjoy entertainment on the smartphone? Indonesians always have a smartphone in their hand. That's my image. So people get all the information from smartphone. So uh, it will be a uh, disaster if they lose smartphone. So music, movie, and drama, what is popular on smartphone? I think this is the same around the world, but K-pop is hugely popular. Uh, many people watch Korean drama. So what the appeal, attractiveness of uh, the South Korean drama and music, what is it? The attractiveness of South Korea is uh, we, Indonesia does not have this, uh, this equivalent entertainment, so I think it excites you uh, because it doesn't exist in our country. So watching something that does not exist here yet excites us. So JKT48 is a Japanese culture imported into Jakarta. So those who want, who like the culture and the anime of Japan, enjoy watching us. So a while ago, we often heard that AKB48 and the idol and talents uh, they start uh, from a mediocre level and work their way up and become great. But uh, in K-pop, uh, they're before debut, they're already at the highest level. So from Nakagawa-san who experienced that, what do you think? Uh, that system and the attractiveness of AKB48, what do you think? The appeal of AKB48 is 
Uh, the, the girls who cannot do anything spend months and years taking lessons and become uh, the glamorous talent, hugely successful talent. I think that's the appeal. So in Indonesia, we don't have documentary. We don't have documentary. So the Indonesian artists, uh, there are artists who are rolling the camera all day long. So the Indonesian uh, general public know the artists. So JKB, JKT uh, had this documentary system, and I think that's the appeal. Setting an anime aside, JKT became popular in a very short period of time. It was popular before you got there? The reason JKT became popular is... It's hard to say, but the Japanese idols did not exist in Indonesia before, and now this an environment that you can directly see them uh, resonated. So AK, it's not like AKB coming for a concert once in a while. JKT as a whole came to Jakarta, to Indonesia. And that's why the fans started liking them. So it's the Japanese system that took place in, Aka, uh, in Akihabara brought as is to Jakarta. Yes, we have the theater and we do regular performance. So in Indonesia, uh, there's no theater with the artists. So. The fact that we had the theater where we can have regular performance was the strength and the key uh, to our success. But you graduated from JKT and you are still popular. What do you think your appeal is? Sorry for being rude, but I want you to be straightforward. I try to just purely enjoy what I have, enjoy this environment of living in Jakarta, in Indonesia. So that was the same in JKT and still. I like creating the environment that I can enjoy. So TV or other jobs, I'm always using my full energy and enjoying every bit of it. And I think that communicates to people. I do understand, but no one tries to cut corners from the beginning. So your effort or your creativity, uh, something you did differently from others, I tried to be an Indonesian. I tried to be mindful of that. Once we come abroad, I tend to think, well, Japanese is like this. So Japanese have to be like this way. Or Japanese think and act like this way, but why are they, they different? We tend to think like that initially, but I wasn't like that. I thought, now I'm in Indonesia, I will accept the way things are done in Indonesia and enjoy the environment. Of course, there were challenges in the beginning, but and when I did not spoke in, speak Indonesian language well, it was difficult and I had a hard time understanding people. But I tried to smile and, and always nod and just, just listen, even if I didn't get everything. This uh, pleased the Indonesian. So we did not, I did not expect them to accept us. I tried to accept what was in front of me. How did you learn the language? I did not study it before. So I listened and learned. Listened to what friends were talking, speaking, and learned. And you started speaking with them eventually? 
I think I'm different. Usually, people study in classes. But I thought that I will be able to speak once I put myself in the environment and guessed what they're saying. Maybe this, maybe that. So I think you have good ears, good listening skills. Maybe, yes, I, I learned by listening. Um, Jakarta word director just indicated me to ask you to introduce yourself in Jakarta for a first timer. Thank you very much. What did you say? Hello, everyone. How are you? I am Haruka Nakagawa. I came from Japan. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you had full smile and you can feel your personality. I like that. Uh, people here in Indonesia are very friendly. And we become friends uh, just meeting once. So, at first you may think they're too friendly, but that's the strength of Indonesia. So, we try to use this strength uh, to the advantage, and I try to introduce myself so that we can become friends right away. So, in physically, uh, if you're face-to-face, -face, uh, you can become friends quickly, but under COVID, you cannot physically uh, talk or interact directly. What do you do to overcome that? So, in my case, uh, with people in Indonesia, I don't change uh, my communication. So, I've, been, I've started doing a live streaming. So, what sort of a streaming do you do? So, in this uh, live streaming, I have a communication with everyone. I answer their questions and I share what I'm doing with them and I ask them what they are up to. So from a home, because this is stay home a period, it was stay home period. So I think doing that was very good. So with um, live streaming apps, uh, there are many of them. So by leveraging them, even during stay home a period, I can convey all sorts of contents uh, to people. I see. Can we see that from Japan? Yes, you can. You can see it from uh, Japan. So Japanese are fans and Indonesian fans alike can enjoy themselves along with me. So this time around, uh, because of the COVID-19, I think I've created such an environment uh, which is very positive, I would say. I understand. Of course, uh, there are restraints or constraints. Uh, there are many of them, more of them than before. There was alumni uh, gathering and from abroad. You can participate uh, quite casually. Then in Jakarta or in Tokyo, wherever you are, you can uh, convey your contents the same way. The contents, uh, topics, uh, themes, when you pick them, can you share with us any successful examples or not very successful examples based upon your experiences? This time around, during COVID-19, I started doing a live streaming for Japanese fans. They, they also watch my content, and Indonesian fans also see live streaming, so I provide a simultaneous translation. But it's quite difficult because it was very hard for me, but against this backdrop, but there are, I, I speak both languages, Japanese and Indonesian, and I can learn a lot, and I can do interpreting and translation much faster than before, so it was a good learning opportunity for me myself. So it was very nice. So you speak Indonesian first, followed by Japanese, so you take a turn in switching between the two languages. Yes, uh, Japanese uh, found the comments are translated to Indonesian uh, by myself, and then I do vice versa. I reply in Japanese and translate, uh, translate that into Indonesian. So Haruka-san, you are improving. You're getting better. Thank you. 
So I only knew you from、um, AKB48 days. So once again, let's talk about our business. So people use our smartphones, they spend money on content provided on smartphones, or they buy、uh, JKT music and so on. How much money do they spend? Can you give us an idea? When you go out, you don't really have too many opportunities to go outside and spend. So, live streaming or video streaming or movies tend to be purchased and you watch or enjoy them at home. Many people are doing that. So, I think people are spending their money on these、uh, things. I think in total they're spending、uh, most of their money on these things and smartphone as well. Because during the stay home period, more people are using smartphones, so they play online games. They play online games, so they enjoy live streaming, so they buy tickets. So I think that is where people are spending money. So, how much do they have to pay? How is it in comparison to Japan? Is it much cheaper in Indonesia? I think it is less in Indonesia. I thought it was less in Indonesia. I thought Japanese people would be spending more money on these things. But once I started doing this, well, actually, to my surprise, Indonesian people tend to pay a lot for such live streaming things. There are quite a few of them spending a lot of money, so it is the same as Japanese people. Indonesian people spend as much money as the Japanese. So today, as I'm listening to you, one point is that、uh, Nakagawa san's personality you pick up the language and you can become friends with the local people as a person.、Uh, that's quite important. At the same time, using the AKB system, you transfer the AKB system to Indonesia. So you don't really do localization. You just、um, transfer the genuine thing to a foreign country and it can be embraced. Would you say so? Yes, if Japanese entertainment is、uh, taken to Indonesia, I think it can be brought as is. So you shouldn't change things because it's Indonesia. You should adjust things because it's Indonesia. You should recreate things for Indonesia. I don't think you should do that because Indone-、uh, Indonesian entertainment. Japanese entertainment as is can be brought to Indonesia, and then Indonesian people would embrace it. They would be very interested. So, Japanese entertainment has its personality, so without changing it, I think you should transfer that to Indonesia. Because of the power of the internet, Japanese information, Tokyo information can be directly shared in Indonesia now. Would you? Agree to that? Yes,、uh, quite a few Indonesian people know what's happening in Tokyo or Japan. So, against this kind of a backdrop,、uh, Japanese culture is amazing, Japanese environment is amazing.、Uh, everybody is、uh, learning that by watching such、um, content, and some of them want to come to Japan and want to study Japanese language. Quite a few young Indonesians want to do that. In Indonesia, who,、uh, you are the most famous Japanese person. So,、uh, what about Vajra? Actually, Doraemon is the most、um, famous thing from Japan, Indonesia. So, when it comes to anime,、uh, it is、uh, very popular. Everybody is、uh, watching Japanese anime as well. So, Doraemon is very well known. Crayon Shinchan, Conan, Detective Conan, One Piece, Naruto. These、um, anime, uh, animations are very well embraced in Indonesia. Everybody likes it. So, anime is、uh, really embraced in Indonesia, so Japanese、uh, music and so on. I hope that it will become popular in Indonesia even more.、Uh, on the flip side,、um, the younger people who want to excel globally, artists who want to be successful、uh, globally on a global stage, do you have any advice for them? What should they keep in mind? So, you leave Japan. I think stepping outside of Japan is,、um, takes a lot of、uh, courage. It's difficult. But if you look、uh, globally, not just Japan, there are so many things you can learn or experience. So, you don't have to be scared, you don't have to be fearful and have one step forward. I want people to do that, and you can be confident. And then step out of Japan, be it artists or others, 
if you want to leave Japan, you can be confident and then go outside. That is my advice. So you're very uh, cheerful, but sometimes uh, do you feel down? Do you feel demotivated? How uh, have you overcome such experiences? In my case, uh, during COVID-19, I cannot go back to uh, come back to Japan. So I want to see my friends. I want to see my family in Japan. But sometimes when I feel depressed, I want to talk to them. That happens every now and then, but in today's world, we can uh, make uh, video calls with those who are in Japan. Even if your family are in Japan, I can just um, have a video call with them from Indonesia and I can talk to them. So this is uh, the best thing for me. So the other day, my uh, friend from uh, my childhood days, uh, wedding uh, took place and I couldn't go, but I used the video call and I was able to be part of the celebration. I could be part of the group photo. So I think we're living a very nice times. So in that sense, the technology has developed. So even if you're far away, you can feel close to them. Yes, that's right. So when I feel depressed, I feel like people are staying alongside me. So that gives me a lot of courage and reassurance. Okay, another point. Nakagawa-san, you're very young, but today there are quite a few middle-aged men or older men watching. So from a young people's um, uh, perspective, young person's perspective, uh, what would you say to them? What sort of a support would you like to receive from them? So Indonesia doesn't have a too much entertainment, unlike Japan. So if you want to make forays into this uh, market. I think there are many business opportunities. Unlike Japan, we, we don't have uh, too many amusement parks in Indonesia. And against uh, this kind of a backdrop, Japanese uh, people could find opportunities in Indonesia. So I think such uh, opportunities uh, could be captured or seized by Japanese uh, people. So I think you can explore other market opportunities. You can try things. I hope that many people will come to Indonesia. Many businesses are come to Indonesia so that they can develop their businesses in this country. I would feel very reassured if you could do that. And I want to be as good as you. So I want to have a friendly competition and do my activities in Indonesia. So that was smart into my ear. So maybe I can get a trick going into Indonesia. Sometimes I may get a serious uh, face, uh, expression on my face, but that's not nice, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so there is only one chance, one opportunity. So without uh, missing that opportunity, if you can have one step uh, forward, if you uh, fail, you can uh, start it over. You can do that again. So uh, doing uh, something is a good just trying it is a very important uh, well thank you very much that was very deep and profound i think um we are about to end but do you have any message for uh, viewers or fans you are in uh, jakarta so do you have any message for them uh, today uh, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity i am not in japan i'm in indonesia now and there are many things that i've been learning and uh, there are a lot of um opportunities for me to study. So next year or the year after, once uh, COVID uh, winds down, I hope that uh, so many people can go outside and learn new things. So against this uh, backdrop, my life outside of Japan and activities outside of uh, Japan, I want to convey my experiences to you all. And uh, with that, I hope that uh, more people would be interested in uh, leaving uh, Japan experiencing things overseas. Uh, that will make me very happy. And I also would like to support, support you. So I think uh, this uh, difficulty uh, would uh, continue for a while, but let's uh, work hard together. Oh, thank you very much uh, for today. Thank you. Uh, so you're like a mature person. Uh, very nice uh, comment. So I may get told off by your fans, but uh, you are now really mature. Oh, thank you very much. 
uh, for today, despite the very hot weather. Thank you so much. And uh, can you stay friends with me going forward? Yes, I will. Thank you. I will be waiting for you in Indonesia, so please come and visit me. Well, thank you very much in this session from uh, Jakarta. The most famous Japanese person, Haruka Nakagawa, joined us. So what is the COVID situation from the viewpoint of uh, Jakarta? So I hope that uh, her story will be useful for you, and I hope that young people, a young person like her, is uh, hopeful and doing things very actively, and that gave us a lot of encouragement. Thank you very much. I hope that this uh, forum has been useful and will be useful for you. Thank you very much for today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nakagawa-san and Shinada-san. So as Nakagawa-san said, uh, because digitalization is advancing, the business opportunity in Indonesia can be captured and the seeds can be plowed here in Japan, even under COVID-19.